Hello guys, so in this uh, you know, uh, video, we're gonna continue our circuit analysis with transistors. So we're gonna uh, today explore another important circuit called the voltage divider biasing transistor circuit, okay? It's not that one, by the way, okay? I'm gonna show it here. It is the second one. So if you guys remember in our previous circuits that we solved it, we have two sources. We have the VCC here, connected to the, to the collector. And we have another battery here, just like this. Look, this is basically, you know, the circuit is a kind of circuit that we, that we dealt with, you know, in the previous videos. We have two sources, we have two batteries. We have this battery here and we have this battery here, okay? And now, you know, this is basically, you know, not, a, not a cheap. So uh, the, the question is, can we buy as a transistor, can we give, the point seven here for VBE using one source. And this is the answer basically. This is one of the answers because there are many you know, circuits that you can use one source like the VCC here to bias VBE. And this is one solution called the voltage divider. And as you see guys, there is a kind of voltage divider here. You know, we know, yeah, that voltage divider usually means two series resistor, you know, in a battery, right? right? You may say this is not serious because basically the current that flows into here, you know, divided, you know, uh, you know, a portion of it goes to as IB and another portion continue in RB2. Okay, so I'm I am gonna say that yes, you are right, they are not serious, but IB usually, usually, usually very small, very, very, very small. If you guys, you know. Uh, explore the numbers from the other circuits that we solve it, it's usually in micro amperes, okay? So we can somehow neglect it. And once we neglect it, this is basically voltage divided because basically most of that current will just go to RB2, okay? This circuit is not easy to, uh, to solve, okay? And to solve it, this is why I presented this circuit in here, okay? Because we're gonna convert this circuit, this voltage divider stuff here, okay? We're gonna convert it to something we already know and they dealt with. Basically, this is the same circuit that we solved it before, okay? Uh, once it was in uh, active, once it was in uh, saturation, once it was, you know, in, uh, in cutoff when the voltage input here was, uh, was zero, okay? So let's solve this. And once we solve the first circuit, you know, we're gonna convert the second circuit, the voltage device, that really is the main purpose of this video. We're gonna convert this into, you know, uh, a circuit like this, then we're gonna continue. And I'm gonna show you how easy to deal with, you know, such a circuit. So basically here we have a newcomer. We have this uh, resistor between the battery and the base. Let's call it RB, for example, okay? And here is RE and here is RC. Okay, again, looks like there is a source that can give the VBE the point seven. So let's assume active. So once we assume the active, we can say that uh, here is IB and here is IE. And we can take care of in that loop. Let's call it loop one. So KVL in loop one. So we have five equal to IBRB plus point seven, the VBE plus IE. RE, you may say this equation has two unknowns. No, because uh, IB and IE are rela related basically, because we know that IE equal to beta plus, plus one IB. So basically we can say that five equal to IB, RB plus 0.7 plus beta plus one IB, then RE. So from that, IB can be said that it's equal to five minus 0.7 over uh, beta plus one over RB plus beta plus one RE. And that's basically, let's check the answer here. So the answer is 11.73 micro amperes, 11.73 microamps, okay? So we know that IE basically, as we said, beta plus one IB. 
So this is gonna be one, one eight four uh, milliamperes, and you can say this is approximately IC. When, whenever you see beta equal to one hundred, this was given in this example. Okay, whenever you say beta equal to one hundred, then you can just approximate alpha to one or beta over uh, beta plus one approximately equal to one. So IC is approximately equal to IE. Okay. Now we, see, we need to calculate VC. Why? To calculate VVC, to check that we are really working in active. So VC is basically this point minus the voltage drop across the resistor, which is basically in the, in the, in the other way, VRC, the voltage across. So VC is equal to 15 volt because this point is 15. Remember, this is ground. So this is higher than this by 15. So this is 15. 15 minus. I C R C. So this is gonna be 9.435 volt. Now what is VB? You can calculate VB using two ways. So this is basically VB here. You can say it is 0 0.7 plus the voltage drop over uh, RE. You can say it's VBE plus IE RE. Or you can say it is uh, 5 the voltage of that point minus IBRB. Whatever you choose, basically they are the same. So this is gonna uh, give us 4.6, 4.607 basically. Okay, now the moment of truth, VBC, VB minus VC, whenever you see VB basically, you know, less than VC, you know, that's it, you are correct. Four, six, oh, seven, two, minus nine point four, three, five. This is basically something negative. We don't, you don't even, uh, you know, need to calculate it because basically when, whenever you see VC bigger than or greater than VB, that's it, you are correct. It's really active region. Okay, and now let's go to our main purpose of this video the voltage divider circuit. Once we convert this circuit into something like this, we have the solution. We're gonna just continue this, uh, this analysis. So how we can we, how can we do that? Okay. So you may see this circuit drawn like this. I mean, this, uh, this node is just connected to this node and this node is just connected to this node. Of course, because basically, these two nodes are just a ground, so they can just be connected, you know. Uh, these two points are, you know, both have 15 volt, so basically they can be connected. So, to convert this, we need to get rid of this voltage divider. You know, we need to convert this voltage divider into something basically like this. So, let's draw it in two ways. Here is a circuit. If we just disconnect, you know, these two points. So let's draw it again. 15 again here, RB1, RB2. And look now, we know that, we know that. Thiven in equivalent, you know, is saying that you can reduce any circuit between two points into a resistor and a voltage source. Okay, so where are the, our two points? So we gonna we want to get rid of these this stuff here, this voltage divide. So where are the two points? Here is the two points. Let's call it A, and basically the 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 ground is B. So we are gonna look. Between this, so this is basically what Severin say. You can look between two points, and whatever you look between these two points, you can reduce the rest into uh, a voltage source and a resistor. So basically, in principle, we can convert that circuit here into something like this. Let me draw the original circuit, original part of the circuit in the same color. which is 15, RC, RE. This is A, this is B. 
So we're gonna reduce the voltage divider into a resistor and a source, a voltage source. We're gonna call this resistor R7. We're gonna call this resistor V7. And now look at this. So this is basically, this is equivalent to this one, to the, the, this original one here. You may say, you want to, to get rid of, why you get, wanna get rid of the voltage? I didn't get rid of it. I just, this is just on the paper. I mean, in practical, we're gonna have this, we're gonna have the voltage divider practically in the lab, okay? But just to analyze it on a piece of, on a piece of paper with a pen, you may uh, make such, such, you know, uh, such a conversion. This is just on a paper, just to, to know the, to calculate the currents and the voltages, you know? But practically we have the voltage divider, which is really good, okay? Now, just to compare this now, that new circuit now here, is that one. They are basically the same, okay? So let's do that. Let's now uh, try to get R, of course, we need to get R7 and V7, okay? So let's get R7 and V7. So let's draw only the part that we're gonna convert, which is that part here. So we have uh, two parts, basically, I'm sorry, we have two uh, steps. We have to get R7, and we have to get V7. And we're gonna get them basically from the same part. And, my, and then I'm gonna draw it something like this. So this, this was 15 point, 15, I'm sorry, 15 volt. This 15 volt is basically like, you know, uh, a battery. Okay, and this is A. And this is B. This is RB1. This is RB2. To calculate R7, the steps is, R, is as follows. Okay. Basically, you consider, you consider magically, you know, imagine that there is a source here. Some source, some battery between A and B, okay? Then you cancel any source in the circuit that you want to, to calculate its equivalent R7. So we have two kinds of sources, you know, in our, in our in circuits, basically, in general circuits. We have voltage sources and the current sources. To cancel a current source, you cancel its effect. Its effect is that to uh, feed the, the branch in which it's connected by a current. So make this branch open circuit, then the current will be zero. To cancel uh, uh, a voltage source, cancel its effect. A voltage source basically, you know, raises one of its terminals by a voltage than the other one. So this one, for example, is zero. So this one will be 15. It, it, it raises the, this point by 15 volt than this point. So to cancel its effect, just make a short, like this, like this, whatever you like. If you make a short, then this point becomes zero. So there is no effect, okay? Now, if we want to calculate the equivalent resistance between these two points, this will be basically R7, okay? So this source here will, you know, will give us, will give you a current. This current will come at that, node and be divided like this. But look at RB1 and RB2. They are parallel. After canceling this source, they are, uh, you know, they share the first, uh, you know, the, the, same, the same terminals. This terminal is shared and also this terminal is shared. Look, this is ground. So basically they share the same term. I mean, you can draw this it's like this. This is the imaginary source between A and B. And then you have RB2 like this, then RB1 like this. So basically R7 which is the resistance between A and B is basically RB1 parallel to R7. 
B2. So R7, it's calculated, it's equal to, remember uh, RB1, RB2 is 100 kilo and 50 kilos. So 150 over 100 plus 50. This will give you uh, 33.33 33 kilo ohms. This is basically R7. Good. We get one of our unknowns. I mean, this, these two unknowns now. <laughs> We're gonna get them first, then we calculate the original unknowns, which is the currents and the voltages. Okay, now V7. For V7, we consider the, you know, the connection between A and B open circuit. So there is open between A and B now. This is RB1. RB2, and again, the 15 volt. So the steps for our V7, I just said it, you know, you, you just consider between A and B open circuit. Let's do that with red open circuit. So here, basically, the current that flows in RB1 will be the same as the current that flows in RB2, because they are in series now. So RB1 and RB2 in series now, because we consider the, look, the connection between A and B is open. And what is V7? V7 is basically the, the voltage between A and B, VAB. So this voltage. Okay, but remember now RB1 and RB2 are, are, are series. So basically V7, which is VAB, it's just a voltage divider. That's why it's called the voltage divider by the, okay? 15 multiplied by RB2, which is 50, over 50 plus 100. So this is basically five volt. If you calculate it, this is basically five volt. This is V7. So we get also V7 in there, okay? Now, let's draw the, fir the circuit after getting, you know, the values or putting the values of V7. So uh, let's put them here even. So this is, 33.33 .33 kilo ohms, and this guy is five volt. And let's now, and RC is still the same five kilo ohms, of course, uh, and RE, this is RE, not RC. And RE here is still three kilo ohms. So look, uh, if we compare this circuit by this circuit, they are exactly the same, exactly the same, okay? Also, you know, RC and RE are, you know, are quite different, but we will have the same analysis, something very similar to that one. So let's do that now. Let's do the same analysis here. So let's draw the circuit again. Here is RC. So let's solve this. So we have uh, five steps. First, assume active. Okay, so basically we're gonna solve this loop, loop one. So KVL in loop one will give us that IB is equal to, I'm gonna do it directly, V7 minus 0.7 over RB or R7 plus beta plus one. This will give us 12.78 micro amperes, 12. 0.78 micron, look, very small, very, very small. IE is beta plus one IB. So let's do it, let's calculate it very quick. It would be 1.29 milliamperes. And this is approximately IC. Whenever you see beta equal to 100, just you know, ignore the difference, I mean, you can consider alpha equal to alpha equal to one. Okay, now VC is 15 minus ICRC, 8.55 volt. VB, again, VB can be said as 0.7 plus IERE, or you can say it's V7 minus IBRB. Both are correct. This will give us 4.57. And look, 
whenever you see VB less than VC, then you are correct because basically VBC will be negative. That means you know the connection, the the junction between the base and the collector is reverse. VBC is four five uh, four point five seven minus eight five five, so it is minus three point nine eight. Volt, which is of course means that the, this junction is reverse and the assumption is correct. Okay, guys, so that was basically uh, how to solve or how to buy as a transistor with a voltage divider circuit. This is the voltage divider, uh, you know, configuration here, and how to analyze the circuit using Thevenin equivalent. In the next two videos, we're gonna solve with the same circuit this voltage divider biasing using another two solutions. Okay, if you don't like Thevenin, if you see it, you know, come for some or something, then you still have a chance to solve it using some other solutions. Thank you very much for watching this video and see you in the next video. Bye-bye.